around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there is just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, the United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> from men in Dodge. Yeah. You, you read. Let her tell you how good guide is to Bill. Let's see you later. Old time guide. Many years in army. Big scout. Why ain't you still with the army then? Yeah. Too old now. I can guide cattle on trail to Dodge very cheap. <laughs> Why are you old? Tobiel never lie. No? Listen to this, Larson. <laughs> to whom it may concern. The name of this noble red man is Tobiel. He's a liar, a beggar, and a thief. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what he wouldn't steal, a hound pup couldn't pull out of a tan yard. <laughs> Give him some cold grub or a three-cent drink if you have any about you, and then run him out of camp. <laughs> Signed R. Durbin J. C. White. <laughs> they sure wrote him a good letter. Oh, no, no, no. Letter can't say that. They be my friends. They write letter, have me get jobs. What'd you try to steal off him? For he'll never steal. No, oh, well, I'll take the word of a white man any day. Larson, have the boys run him off. No, hey, the, the letter lie. They, they fooled me. So be a man with much honor among white men in army. This ain't the army. Run him off, I said. Come on, Chief. No, no, I, I, I leave alone. And you leave, all right. Get going. Yeah. But those men die for this. If anybody dies, it'll be you. All right, here he is, boys. Let's send them down the trail. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, it's going to be a nice evening, ain't it? For you, maybe. Anything wrong, Kitty? Just that trail heard across the river. George will soon be full of drunken cowboys all looking for trouble. Oh, you'll handle Miss Kitty. Don't you worry. <laughs> or at least Mr. Dillon will. <laughs> well, shooting them's easy. I got to talk to him. Yeah, you can always quit, Kitty. Sure. Do what? Keep Sunday school? Yeah, you might. You talk like a Texan yourself, Matt. You know what one of them told me once? What? He said I reminded him of his mother. He did. He really said it. Well, that sounds nice, Miss Kitty. I thought so too, Chester. But I got real drunk and told me his mother was the first woman to be hung south of San Antonio. She was? Who hung her? Probably he did. Oh, now, Miss Kitty, no man wouldn't hang his own mama like that. Hey, Marshal! Yeah. We come to warn you. Oh, warn me about what, mister? My name ain't mister, it's wiser. My partner's name here is I'll Durbin. tell him my own name. It's Durbin. Oh, shut up. Marshal, that Indian's gonna get himself hurt. What are you talking about? That engine. Across the street there. No? Well, now, that's Tabeel. Keeps following us around. Says he's gonna kill us. Tabeel? That doesn't sound like him. Well, it's true. You just asked him. He's been haunting us for four days. Just stands around staring at us and saying we're gonna die. I had a shot him long ago, but I hear that's against the law around here. Where you men from? Wyoming Territory. Where did you know Tabeel? We've only been in Dodge a couple of weeks. We've seen him around here. What's the trouble between you? Oh, we played a little joke on him, that's all. Made him mad, I guess. We told him he could get a job guiding trail herds into Dodge and give him a letter. He thought the letter said how good he was, but it really said he was a thief and to run him out of camp. Oh, I see. And he tried to use your letter, is that it? I guess so. He went away a couple of days, and since he got back, he keeps saying he's going to kill us. He's getting on my nerves, Marshal. I'll shoot him, sure. You shoot anybody, and you'll hang for it, Wiser. Now, you wait here. I'll go talk to him. Hello, Tabeel. Marshal? Uh... Bill, those two men over there say that you threatened to kill them. Is that true? They die. They told me the story to Bill. I'm sorry it happened, but uh, you can't kill men for that. So be old, but still proud. You know what'll happen to you if you do kill them, don't you? You'll go to jail and probably hang for it. No. So be never in jail. Man with much honor. Look, Tabeel, I got no use for Wiser and Durbin myself. Neither one of them is much good, but the law's the law. Tobiel no kill. Tobiel's medicine kill. Make very strong medicine against them. Well, you work all the medicine you want, but don't you do any killing yourself. Now, you stay away from them, Tobiel. You're making them jumpy. There might be trouble if you don't. Tobiel not afraid. They carry guns, Tobiel, and all you've got's a knife. You remember that? I remember. All right. You tell him, Marshal? You men don't understand him. He's not threatening to kill you himself. He's making Indian medicine against you, that's all. Well, then why does he keep saying we're going to die? Why is he always following us around? Well, he thinks his medicine will kill you, and I guess he wants to be there when it does. There's no harm in it. And I'm warning you again, both of you, you leave him alone. You do anything at all to that old man and I'll throw you in jail. Look, Marshal, that letter started all this. That was Wise's idea, not mine. It sure was. Any idea we've ever had has been mine. I never did need you, Durbin. Is that so? Well, who did your dirty work up in Cheyenne? You did, you fool. I sure did, and you still owe me. Oh, boy. shut up. Marshal? You ain't going to do nothing about that Indian? I know Tabeel pretty well, and I'll personally guarantee his word. 
And nobody's going to do anything about him, including you. I told you that engine was going to kill somebody. Did you see it happen, Durbin? No. No, I'd gone to bed. That dirty redskin probably got him on his way home. It hasn't been proved that he did it. Well, of course he did it. Who else had scalped him? I don't know. Now, look at that, Marshal. Just look right there. Hanging right on that check of his like he was bragging about it. Oh, Mr. Dillon, that's a scalp. Yeah. Drying it in the sun. That's what he's doing, that murdering devil. You just stay here. I'll go see if he's inside. Yes, sir. You now, Tobiel. Let's bring him up, Marshal, right here. Shut up, Kevin. Tobiel, did you kill Wiser last night? Wiser? Kill? Stabbed with a knife and scalped. He died. Durbin there, he died too. Yeah, you see, Marshal, he even. I told you to stay out of this, Durbin. Now, you tell me straight, Tobiel. Did you kill him? Tobiel, no kill. Tobiel's medicine kill. So what's Wiser's scalp doing here? Scalp? Right there. Yeah? Wiser's scalp, all right. Where's your knife, Tobiel? Uh, here, my knife. Look out, Marshal. He'll try to use it. Give it to me, Tobiel. Yeah. You think I kill Wiser with knife? Did you? Medicine kill Wiser. Tobiel no kill. Tobiel, I'm going to have to arrest you. You're going to have to go to jail. Jail? No. Tobiel man with too much honor for jail. I'm sorry, Tobiel. But you will get a trial. Let's hang him now, Marshal. He don't need no trial. I'm the law here, Durbin, and don't you start anything like that. Well, big disgrace. Tobiel in jail. I know, Tobiel. But it can't be helped. Chester. Yes, sir. Get that scalp. We're going to need it for evidence. Ready? 
Ready to go to supper, Matt? Uh, I'll be right with you, Doc. Uh, Chester, you better stay here and watch the bill, huh? I'm sure. You can go eat when I get back. I'll see you later. Yes, sir. I hear Tobio's pretty unhappy about being locked up. Yeah, I had a long talk with him, but I'm afraid he's going to be locked up for a long time. Why is that? Well, no judge will hang him on circumstantial evidence, but he'll probably go to prison. He hasn't any kind of an alibi, Doc. Not at all. Well, if I know to be ill, he'd rather hang than be in prison. Yeah, I'm afraid you're right. What's that? Came from the jail. Mr. Dillon? What happened, Chester? Somebody shot the beer from outside in the alley. Is he dead? Oh, he sure looks dead. Let me take a look at him. Chester, go out the front and come up the alley. Yell if you see anybody. I'll cover the back. Go on. Yeah, what is it? I seen Durbin. He ran out of the next alley and went into Long Branch there. Durbin. All right, let's go get him. Must have been him that's done it. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Howard McNair is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. 